with me today is one of the most popular and decorated women's wrestlers from Australia, Shazza McKenzie. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you for that, that uh, amazing, amazing intro. <laughs> Maybe sound, sound much cooler, cooler than, than I am. am. You are pretty epically cool, mate. I have to give it to you. Um, so, full disclosure, I'm just jumping into this chat, Shazza, so I can see what people yeah, are no, right. saying about us. Um, full disclosure, Shazza and I, we've never wrestled each other, right? No, no. no. Because he, the reason why I had to ask is because sometimes I forget. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's all right. right. <laughs> like, like, there was only, what, what like, like a couple, couple of months, months that we were, we were in, in the, the same, same country. country. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, very, very like, like, I think, I think we, we did maybe, maybe one, one or two, two shows, shows together, yeah, max, max, in, in that, that, like, time period that you were here. Yeah, for sure. I think we were in PWA together for the big PWA girl yeah. show, um, yes. which I really enjoyed. But you have had, we, we touched on this a little bit off stream, but now that we're on stream, I really want to dig into it. You have had one of the best careers as an independent wrestler in Australia. Like, no joke, mate. You really have. And I want to know how you do this. <laughs> because uh, I think, God. right, I, I, I think you have. I think it's time to give you some props. Give you some tickets. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. you. Um, it's, it's all, all just, just a lot, lot of just exhausting. exhausting. Um, never, never like, like I don't know, a, a lot, lot of, of uh, sacrifice. sacrifice I get, which, which, yes. it, it, it sounds, sounds so It's like you see, like, like yeah, yeah, like you know, yeah, I sacrifice a lot of you know normal, normal people, people like, like family and friends and normal like. Holidays, holidays like, like, I, the, the, like like in, in the past 15, 15 years the, the only, only holiday, holiday that i've had that was like, like actually like, like the, the only time, time i've gotten on a plane for a holiday without, without my wrestling, wrestling gear in my bag, bag was, was when, when my, my husband, husband booked the trip and gave like, like surprised me with the trip because, because i just would like i'm like, like well if i have holiday it has to be like how can you have i put wrestling in here and there and whatever like so it's a lot of like not not ever, ever giving, giving myself, myself an actual break. break. But then the, the pandemic, pandemic happened. happened. So then I had, <laughs> I've had plenty of a break. So it's fine now. I'm, now I've had so much holiday. So she's like, is, you know. Now I've got nothing but a break. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Clint says, hello. Uh, Strong Style says, hello, Shazza. People in the chat. Frisco, thanks for the tech update. Appreciate that. Is the echo uh, still going on? I'm trying to. People love you immediately. And we've been on here for like. 30 seconds um i like i don't think it's a cliche because here's the thing like people don't understand what it takes to come out of australia and become known internationally right like they i don't think they understand <laughs> yeah no i don't think they understand how far away australia is from everything yeah they're like and just, and just how, how difficult, difficult it is to like, everyone's like, oh, well, why, why don't you just move to America? America? And I'm like, let me just do that. Really not how, yeah, yeah, that's not how it works, works guys. There's, 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 a, there's a few legalities, legalities that you have to yeah. like, be concerned yeah. with. Um, um, so, so every time, time I'm going, going that's like thousands of dollars on flights and like, you know, like I've gotten to a point where, well, I mean, I had gotten to a point where it was financially beneficial to do take those flights. Right. Now, yeah. now, now who knows? knows. Like, like now, now, now flight, flight prices, prices of like quadrupled. So, so who knows what the prices price will be when we're ever even allowed out of Australia? Australia. Um, but, but it's, it's just, just yeah, yeah, like it's, it's constantly, constantly juggling, juggling like getting, getting back, back from like going, going to America, America for like two weeks, weeks and, doing and doing as much as you can in two weeks. Getting back off the plane and going straight to my desk job because I still have freaking regular, regular bills I have to pay, pay. right um you know yeah, like and just constantly, constantly doing that like cycle of just never resting um, um which, which I'm very glad that I now get to have, have some rest, rest but, but I'm, I'm a busy like, like I need to be busy, busy. I'm, I'm like, like I don't know I have like ADHD, ADHD I'm, I'm pretty sure because I just constantly need to be doing stuff and I get distracted and I need to constantly be doing stuff so not doing anything really it's just not it's not an option so I'm always find something, something to do. do so it's a little of your own fault mate right yes yeah, yeah. It's like, like i constantly, constantly have, have to try, try. And, like I'm, I'm, I'm never, never satisfied. satisfied i don't know I don't how people are ever satisfied, satisfied. it blows, blows my, my mind. mind i wish i, I, wish I could I be satisfied, satisfied. 
I think for people like me, and I really relate to what you're saying, the, the downside to that, the frustration is epic. Do you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? The frustration of being stuck, and that's what I feel like I'm in Japan now, and I know I, people always tell me like, oh, Alex, like, you're stuck in Japan, whatever, lady, you know, like, you tell us all how hard it is. I get it, like, I'm really spoiled, I understand, and I'm really blessed and really privileged, and it's time for me to move on, and I know that's like a hard thing to swallow in a way, like, it doesn't really make sense because who wouldn't want to wrestle here? Cool. But I have, it's time for me to move on and yeah. I feel stuck and it is just the worst shit ever. <laughs> you know, um, I wanted to ask you because here's the thing. It's like, what year did you start wrestling? Uh, I, started I started training in 2007, 2007 and had, had my first, first match in 2008. Okay. So you've been wrestling for longer than me. Yes. yes you've yeah, been wrestling you, for you, 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 you're, you're my veteran yeah, yeah yeah so i i started in ipw on the gold coast oh yeah yeah are they still around i've made i have no <laughs> idea i have no idea i have no idea <laughs> i started in ipw on the gold coast i want to say like 2008 2009 i want to say 2009 but i wasn't like training wrestling it wasn't like, I'm gonna, this is gonna be my career, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make it to America. Like, it just, how, at the time, wrestling, well, especially Queensland, I'll speak for Queensland, you know, there was no wrestling in Queensland. My very first oh, no. wrestling training, like, how's this for irony? The very first time I went to wrestling training was in someone's backyard, like near Sunnybank. And it was this, it was so weird, like, it's weird how life works. It was, I want to say Mason something, Mason Childs. Mason, Mason Childs. I'm yeah. probably, I know I'm going to get crap for this. Okay, like I'm not, right. no. I'm not trying to be anything. I just really don't remember. There's been a lot of chair shots and it kicks in the head yeah, since you, then. And you've been <laughs> so many different places. Like, right. You, you, you can, can forget, forget a couple of names. names. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> so Mason Childs had this seminar and it was this ring. The ring was legit, I've got to say, but it was in somebody's backyard. And he had this guy from Japan, this Japanese guy who hadn't spoke no English and was so confused. But I, I guess he was there for a PWA Queensland show or something. Yes. I have no idea. I don't even know so, who it is. I think it was like, it would have been like, uh, what was his name? It was like Shadow Phoenix or something. And he had, because he had the little, uh, the sock shoes. I remember that. Because I remember that guy stayed with Mason for like a little while. Oh, see, like, I'm I, so glad I, you remember because I have no idea. I remember so much of just like useless information. No, like, that's amazing. Useless. Because like, this entire I time, this, sock shoes. <laughs> this entire time I've been here, right? Like I never, I was, I would have reached out and said, hey, just, mm. you know, thank you, whatever. You know, I'm in Japan. Let's grab a drink. Anything big out of like some sense of, I guess, a little bit of gratitude because I think it's a cool thing where, you know, the very first time I'm in a ring is in someone's backyard with this Japanese guy who speaks no English, you know, and he was really good, by the way, like he was really good. Yeah. But, you know, he, I think he was also confused why he was teaching in the backyard, you know, like it was all, all that. I, <laughs> you know? I can imagine. So, um, and I just wanted to be, oh, Marty says hello. Hey, Marty, Shadow Phoenix. I don't know. Clint may have been Shadow Phoenix. I have to look him up. Sorry, I'm just looking at the chat and looking at you because I don't have okay. two monitors right now. I feel like it was Shadow Phoenix. Yes. I, okay, well, I I'm know. so I'm glad guessing, we did this. I'm guessing, like, this is I'm totally worth it just Phoenix, for the name. I think it was. Frisco I mean, says, I, but you can probably find it on Cage Match. Oh, oh good one. Yeah. Frisco says, nobody in the US gets the Shazza joke. Because Americans what? are the Shazza joke. The Americans don't have a sense of humor, I think. Oh, yeah, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. Frisco, Frisco gets me. Frisco, he, he's, he had, has, he's, had he's had some laughs with me. me. I, I've, I've met Frisco, Frisco for the, for the first, first time randomly, randomly at a Shikara training session. session. Oh, like, that's right. And then we, like, and then, yeah, yeah, and then we met like in, in like Baltimore, Baltimore, I think, is the next time I saw him. Maybe I saw him. Just random places. Like, so Frisco's, Frisco's one of those, those people, people that he gets around run into each other, other random, random, random places, places not, not anywhere near, near each other, just just there. Frisco gets around, That's mate. Me. He That's gets around. Frisco gets around, and I get around. Everyone, we're all everywhere. We're all everywhere. So I mean, this um, this was Queensland wrestling at the time, by the way. 
this was. I mean, it's, it hasn't it hasn't gone any better. <laughs> Great to know. <laughs> awesome. Um, this sorry. was Queensland sorry, wrestling at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was Queensland wrestling at the time, and I remember, like, thinking to myself, okay. They were, so they all started talking about Lance Storm School, right, in Calgary. Mm. And I remember yeah. the only thing I learned from this training session, like if I was going to get serious about this, I was going to have to move. Yeah. yeah. At the, because at the time, right, like there was no, you couldn't be an independent wrestler in Queensland. You just couldn't. Even if you oh, had the time, yeah, if you yeah. had the money, you couldn't do it, right? Um, and I realized I was going to have to move. And then, so what people, I, for the... Um, non-Australians in the chat and on the stream. You, Australia is a different type of beast. You can't just jump into a car and drive to the next state. Like no. you can jump in a car, drive for 12 hours and you're nowhere. <laughs> you know? Yes, absolutely nowhere. <laughs> you're absolutely like, nowhere. Every, everything is just 12, 12 hours, hours apart, apart from each other. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. So I remember trying to do a bit of research at the time, and this was different. Like this, the, you know, we, nobody had Facebook pages, nobody had Instagram pages. You couldn't just like get on someone's YouTube and, and check them out. And, and also I knew nothing, like zero. All I knew is I wanted to wrestle and I watched what was on TV and I watched what we were doing in his backyard. I'm like, this ain't it. There's, some, there's, <laughs> there's somewhere there's between this. Here. There's somewhere <laughs> between this, you know? And I remember looking into it and the PWA, in New South Wales, in Sydney, was like the only real wrestling promotion, you know, like, <coughs> sorry guys, don't have COVID, just <laughs> I had to cough. And I realized, hey, trash bag theater. He was trained by Ultimate Dragon. Wow, I have to reach out to him then. I'm gonna have to look for Shadow Phoenix. Ah, oh, th this has like been worth it, this stream already. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, so at the time, like literally, I'm thinking to myself, okay, you can move to Sydney or you can move to Canada. And it's a, honestly, it was going to be about the same thing. You yeah. know, like you, you were still going to have to quit your job. You were going to have to, you know, get rid of all your stuff, get on a plane. Like there's no way to drive down there. Well, I, I wouldn't have, you know, it was, it was going to be the same life change, except yeah. the flight was a little longer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I got to train with Lance Storm. So I just kind of like, but I don't even know what I was thinking, mate. Like I, there was no, not a lot of thought that went into it. Like when you think of, I was a banker at the time. I wasn't even, like I was doing nothing remotely yeah. related to wrestling. Yeah. You, you know, and I just like, almost the benefit of being so green and not knowing what you don't know is like, is almost a good thing. Because yeah, because you're, you're, you're not overwhelmed, overwhelmed by, by like, like you're, you're overwhelmed, overwhelmed by, by what, what you're, you're doing, doing, but you're, you're not, not like, like there isn't like other, other like concerns, concerns like, like you're not like, well, right. then this is going to get me here, then this, and this, and like there's all these steps. You're just like, well, because you, you have no what idea what the steps are. What I have to do. <laughs> yeah. You have no <laughs> idea. It's like, well, this is it. Yeah. Like, I'll just do this, right? So, and then, you know, um, got in contact with Lance and like quit my job. And I, I remember like thinking, this is a little crazy. Like, this is a little stupid, you know, because it was post to GFC. And bankers weren't willingly wanting to quit their jobs in a, you know, the global yeah. financial crisis aftermath. Like that yeah. doesn't make sense. It makes even yeah. less sense when you say you want to be a professional wrestler to do that, right? Like had I said anything else, had I wanted to be an astronaut, it would have made more sense, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and then, but my family kind of like, they didn't really say anything. I think like they just didn't want the big reaction, you know? <laughs> and did it and, you know, haven't really looked back. But so all that brings me around to say, like when I used to be, you know, when I was in Florida and when I was in Canada and I was like, and de definitely since I've been in Japan, you're working everywhere. And I'm like, how is she doing this? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and like, and I mean, there's obvious things like you're a very good worker. You look amazing. You're good, good character, right? Like you're straight, aside from just being Australian, it's the whole package, right? Mm -hmm. But like, truth be told, a lot of people have the whole have package, you know? Yeah. The, 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 you get what I mean? Yeah, it takes no, a certain type of drive and personality because I know how hard it was for me to just go from Brisbane to a wrestling school, right? Yeah. Like that leap was massive, you know? Like it was almost stupidity and not any kind of like strat. Like I, I'm just going to say it, it was a fair bit of stupidity. <laughs> but to do then like 
you know, and I remember before COVID, like before February 2020, for WrestleMania last year, WrestleMania season, you had all these shows booked. And I'm like, how is she doing with it? How do you do this? <laughs> I hustle hard. I hustle oh, so hard. I think hard. you invent, <laughs> you bring a whole new level of meaning to the term hustle. I really do. I really, really do. I, you know? I, yeah. I think, yeah. I think like, like the, the biggest, biggest thing is just, just not, not being like, like, it's not that I'm not afraid, afraid. I'm not afraid of rejection. I hate rejection. But, but I, like, like I mean, don't we all just by FYI? We all hate rejection. Rejection sucks. Yeah. But like, for, for every, every successful, successful like, like booking and opportunity, opportunity I've got it, there's, there's another, another like, like 20, 20 that got like, ignored or rejected or whatever. Like, like you, I, just shoot, shoot, my, I just, just shoot my shot. shot. Like, like, I just, li like, like, I have, I have no shame. Not that I don't have any shame, shame but I like, like make, make sure that everything, like, I'm constantly like, what's the, what's the harm in sending stuff? What's the harm in saying, hey, I'm here. What's the harm in this? And what's the, like, if, if, if people, people don't know, know you're around, around, they're not going to know you're around. around. So you just, just got to make sure everyone, everyone knows, knows you're around. around. And then, like, like, and I, I, always, I always make sure, sure I, I like, very, very lucky. lucky. My, my husband is very good with like graphic, graphic design, design stuff. So, so he's, he's made, made me this very nice resume that I, I think takes like, not it doesn't like take people's like, but it like you see, you go, oh, okay, this is a special thing. So like that, I am very good at getting, getting that, that out everywhere. everywhere. And, and like, like yeah, yeah, for every, every booking, booking that, that I had, I had, I had another 10, 10 15 bookings, bookings that said, sorry, we're not interested, interested or just plain ignored, ignored me. me. So, so like, it's, it's just, you just gotta, gotta you just keep, keep trying, trying and then eventually, eventually you make, make enough, enough connections, connections and you, you, you don't, don't fuck, fuck up enough. enough. Like, like you go <laughs> do the shows and you don't like be a complete dickhead. Yeah. Uh, and then hopefully yeah. people want you to come back and then so you can say, hey, I'm back. And then it works from there. So, yeah. Um, I, I that's, that's I mean, that's, I think that's amazing. Uh, just quickly, the Mo85, thank you for the sub. You are my very first subscriber. I just got affiliated on Twitch and he just got the Yay. founder badge. So thank you immensely, um, and thank you to Shazza because you know you you made that happen. <laughs> of course, Otherwise, it was all me. No, it was all you. Um, I I want to like I th I want people to understand that there was a time when we started, and then especially when you started, when wrestling was not an Australian thing. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, would you agree with that? Well, in terms of oh, how it's absolutely. viewed, it's still it's still not, it's still not like it's still, still you know. Yes, thank you for saying that. Australians, do, yes, regular Australians do not watch watch wrestling. wrestling. Like, like, absolutely, absolutely not. not. No, no like, like it's like in America, America like, like maybe, maybe not everyone watches, watches wrestling, wrestling, but you would walk down, down the street and you'd see a couple of wrestling shirts, and it's kind of fun. It's like it's. It's, it's not, not as neat as, right. as it is, is. Like, like say like, like I imagine very, very similar, similar in Japan. Japan. Like, like it's, it's not neat. Like, like it's, 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 it's not, not everyone, everyone loves it, it but it's, it's not that, that obscure to like, like in Australia, Australia to say, say hey, hey, I like professional wrestling and I want to be a professional wrestler is very odd, and people will look at you very strangely. Oh, oh, and just on that, I remember working in Westpac. Westpac is like the largest, well now, and anyway, even at the time, is the largest financial institution in the world, right? And I was in property, corporate property finance. I worked on like, I don't know, you're in Sydney, so you know the Apple building in Sydney, CBD? Mm -hmm. So that yeah, was my yeah. deal, that was my client. Like we, I built, I worked on that fancy. building when he was building it, right? This fancy job. But remember going to that, you know, environment, and you know, I'm buying all the WWE DVDs, I had to get Foxtel because, you know, and like most of trans, they don't yeah. have Foxtel because they just don't, yeah. it's not even an affordability thing. Like I have no idea how much it is now, but you know, one, it's like premium cable TV, but you yeah. just don't, we don't have that culture. Most of the TV is free, you know, like, yeah, we just want to watch sport. We just want to watch sport. We just want to watch sport and the sports on channel nine. nine so, so why would we? we? Why? why? Exactly. Exactly. Why would we? And you know, we watch. While Australians play a lot of sport, like a lot of sport, you know, my high school had every sport under the sun. Wrestling is just not something that I ever took. And it was the weirdest way that I got into this, like the most obscure thing that was like so far removed of everything that I've ever done in life, you know? And then going to that work environment and then there's just like this silence, you know, like, 
Do you know what I mean? Like, you're talking, yeah. it's mainly men, it's mainly bankers. And it's like a wonderful place yeah. to work, by the way. Like, I have no, I'm not even saying this just to put them over, yeah. but like, Westpac was an amazing place to work. Property was an amazing place to work. My boss at the time, I'm still mates with. But just that, like, super corporate environment. And, mm. you know, and here I am wanting to quit and be a wrestler, you know, like, and yeah. you're like, you're out of your mind. Like, you're not, this isn't rational. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this is yeah, yeah. Not, not a, a not a normal decision, decision to make. make. No, but. not a normal decision to make at all. And I still think I still think, unfortunately, like we can't, you know, and I remember being when I was signed by WWE and went to put in FCW. I remember the office saying, like, we haven't signed an Aussie since Nathan Jones. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah and yeah. like before Nathan, Nathan Jones, Jones, they hadn't had an Aussie since like the 50s. Yeah. yeah, and even, like, and Nathan, Nathan Jones, Jones was, was, like, living in America. America. Like, he never he wrestled, wrestled in Australia. Like, like, you were the, the first Australian that, that like, like, was yeah. a wrestler that got signed. Like, like it was, uh, yeah. It, I yeah. think you're being really generous when you say I was a wrestler. I don't know that I would call myself a wrestler. I don't know. You had the wrestling matches. You have previously wrestled. I, I, I did. I mean, I did go to Lancet. I, I had debuted, yes. But I was, yes. it was my rookie year. Yeah, man. you were like, still nothing very, yeah, about very, that. Yes, you were very green. I just, I watched, um, just I know, I had Ricardo Rodriguez on the stream, just like, I, I want to say last week, and we watched my first FCW match on TV. Like, it's crazy. My FC, first FCW match on TV was for the Women's Championship with the champion, and I am dying of laughter. Like, there's nothing like watching your own stuff from way back in the day where you just piss yourself laughing. Like, oh, it was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious. I was dying. I'm like, yeah. how... I want to apologize to anybody that's like ever paid ticket to see this. That's like 150,000 views on YouTube. I'm like, you are wasting your time. Don't watch this crap. It's, people love, people love that stuff. It's yeah. like, it's part of history. That's true. It is part of history. I do want to say that like, it, 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 you, I agree with you. And I'm almost hesitant to say it's not really an Aussie thing anymore. Like it's still not, I'm sorry, it's still not an Aussie thing because it really isn't. I think that's accurate. That despite the yeah. fact that we have amazing wrestling now in Australia, right? It's still very much like an American industry, a Canadian industry, a British industry. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think like, like the, the way, way that, that it's like, like, I, think I think we've always, always had, had really good wrestlers, wrestlers in Australia. Australia. Um, um, but then we've also obviously like, like a few, few years, years ago, ago like, like we didn't, didn't have streaming have stream services and shit like right. that like, like there's no live stream there's there's people the, the, to, to, to watch an Australian, Australian wrestling match the, the DVD, DVD had, had to be made, made and you had to order the DVD and then the DVD, DVD had to be shipped and, and then three, three months, months later after the show's what happened you finally watch it like it's a completely different right with like live streaming and everything like that so more people are aware of us like I think we've always had such a high quality um of, of talent, talent and, and I think, I think it, it comes, comes down, down to the fact, the fact that, that we don't have, have as much wrestling because, because so we, we get to focus a lot more on training um, than if you're right. on the road three, three four days, days a week every, every week, week. Uh, whereas, whereas you know, if, you're if you're wrestling, you're wrestling once, once a week, week uh, you, you can, can work harder in like the training and figuring things out before you put it on display in front of a crowd. But yeah, but yeah, and I, th I, I think, think the, the, the reason wrestling, wrestling is kind, like, like in Australia, Australia has kind of grown its, its fan base recently is yes, because, because they've, they've sort of moved, moved away from trying to, I guess, market it as, re like, like it's still marketed, marketed as wrestling, but it's marketed more as a night out and like an entertainment and entertainment and like, and so we we have a lot more fans that come to our shows that are literally just going for a night out and they're like, what the fuck is this? And then they're like, oh, this is cool ass. And then like, they, they, they keep coming back. And like, I think that's been a big switch in like how we've marketed it. It's not like the family friendly, like John Cena is on TV. This is what you're going to get to see. It's more like, this is this underground, like, Gang, like, like, not gangster. Gangster. <laughs> but like, like super niche, yeah, super niche, like yeah, culty thing, niche, you know? And, and yeah, like where people think they're cool that they like know about yeah. it, like, like 
so like, like and I think that's, that's where our like fan base is like grown from now. now. Yeah, um, which is just <laughs> like marketing <laughs> has changed how we're marketed, but like the quality of the talent has always been phenomenal. Um, I Trash Bag Theatre says uh, that's probably why all Australian wrestlers are so good. I, I don't think that's wrong. I don't think that's wrong. I don't think that... It's, it's like, it's counterintuitive because especially when you're first starting out, you want to work every booking, every match, every silly little indie thing, anything. Like, you'll do anything, right? Yes. Like, just to be yeah. in front of a crowd, right? I'm definitely guilty of that. Like I'm not, I've worked for $20 and, or just a handshake. We've all done it, right? And while I do see some sense in that, it, where you actually get better is training. Yeah. Like where you there's get- like, there's, there's, there's a balance. balance. There's, there's like, like there's, there's certain things you only, only learn, learn by performing. Yes, true. And then there's, there's certain things that you only, only learn, learn by training. training. And I think, I think at, at the, the start, start you're, you're so beneficial training, training and, and like, like I, I still train, train multiple, well, well not right now because it's a lockdown, lockdown. <laughs> but when, when I'm, I'm not in lockdown, lockdown I'm, I'm, I'm still in ring train at least once a week, a week. Mm. Um, and to, to Same. Because, because that's important, important to me and also because I don't get to I only get to perform like a couple of times a month now as well right but I think I learn at where I'm at in my career I think I um I, I learn, learn so much, much more when I'm in front of a crowd, crowd uh, and I, I see myself progress quicker, quicker when, when I'm performing. performing. But, but I think eight, eight years ago, ago training, training multiple, multiple times was more, more far more beneficial, beneficial to me um, than, than trying, trying to take every booking that I could. So right. it's, it's like, like I think there's like, like there's a weird middle ground, and then at the end, and then you've also got to like make sure you're not bumping too much because your body will like give out on you at some point because. We're humans, humans and, and like, like, especially like yeah. as women, like, and, and it's, it's not, not that we're weaker, weaker but our bodies are smaller and that, like, like our frames are smaller. Are smaller yes. Like, hundred percent. We can't take, we can't take, we can't take as many fucking power bombs. There, there, there's a bump cut. Like, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a bump, bump cut. cut. Like, and, it's, and it's going to run out at some point. Yeah. And we're all just sort of chasing the clock. So you've got to be smart about what we're doing with training so that it's beneficial. So, so that you can, can still, still perform, perform on the shows, shows and then find me somewhere in between, in between all that. that. Yeah. yeah. I think I it's know. being really, no, 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 I agree with you 100%. Because I think it's like, it's being like super deliberate and strategic as opposed to yeah. doing all of everything all the time. You know, like yeah. th that's the thing. Because yeah. the last thing you want is to be on a, have your chance at a big thing and have your body give out on you then because that yeah. bump card exactly. came to cash in on you. You know, like... Exactly. You gotta, you, like, you gotta save you, not save you, but save you. No, you save your body. Yeah, you do. Save, save, save the your body. Yeah. Like, you, like, like for, for, for the opportunities that you need it for. Like, like and that, that doesn't, doesn't mean you just phone it in every week at training or whatever. Or whatever. There's still, there's, there's ways to work around it. It's just, like, we don't need to be taking 10 power bombs every Saturday night because... Like oh, you know, or you can come to Japan and then it's not your choice anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I wanted to have a bit of a chat about like the differences in, I, to be honest, like, I mean, I know women's wrestling in Australia from what I, from the girls that I keep in contact with, like yourself and, you know, stuff I see on social media, right? But aside from that, I just get so into my bubble over here that I don't really, um, I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. What do you think is like kind of the difference? Like where do you think women's, Australia, women's wrestling in Australia is at now? Like what do you think is like the difference between say like the Japanese style and Australian style? Do we have a style? Do you think Aussies have like their own unique style? Because I'm low key here for that. I would like there to be, you know, a trend of talking about like the Aussie style, the way people talk about the Brit style, the Japanese yeah. style. I think there's room for that like i've seen you know um tmdk especially when they were in noah like just really be mm. able to blend really well yeah. you know like be kind of you know the the japanese way of doing things but still in a way that's still them and like makes sense yeah, yeah. i think that i think, I think it, it, the, the big, big thing, thing in, in 
Australian women's wrestling now is that all of the women have their own unique style. Like, I think, like, 10 years ago, it was kind of like, hey, like, like this, this is what you need to know as a woman, you're going to do A, B, C, D. Whereas oh, now, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, whereas now, every, 100%. every, every female, female has, has their, their own unique, unique way of wrestling. wrestling. Like, um, um, Jessica, Jessica Choi is a very technical wrestler. wrestler. I, I wish I was, was as, as good, good at technical, technical wrestling as she is, but she's fantastic at it. And then we've got Charlie Evans, who's, again, really good at technical wrestling, but also really... You know, yeah, goes, goes really, really well in like the hardcore hard style matches. Yeah, she changes and do so many different styles of wrestling. Um, um, and then, then like we all we all kind of do our different little like, like we all we all, we all wrestle, wrestle differently, differently. But then it's, it's all it's all still, still the same. same. <laughs> like, like I don't I don't, yeah. know, I don't know, know if it's, it's an Australian style per se. As I think we've all just been lucky enough that the Australian style of wrestling has been that. Everyone's Everyone's people, people have gone, gone out, out to different, different countries, they've gone to Britain, they've gone to England, they've gone to Japan, they've gone to America, they've, they've gone, gone wherever, and then they've, they've brought back what they've, they've learned, and then they've, and then they've, they've all kind of adapted, adapted into our own, own sort of mismatched style. style. Like, 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 um, through, through, through Australian, Australian culture, culture, the way, the way that, that you know, Japan and England and uh, yeah. America, America and everything did. So, so we've, we've created like our, our mismatch style from all of us, from people uh, traveling out and, and then bringing it back and then taking bits and pieces, pieces here and there and like, like figuring it out from there. there. Yeah. yeah. I don't Which know I also, no, 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 that 100% makes sense. But I also think that's like something that's really cool about Australia. You know, like in the grand scheme of things, Everything over there is like still developing. Do you know what I mean? We yeah. haven't like we've had WWE superstars and signees from Australia, right? Definitely. Yeah. We haven't had that huge mega star come from Australia yet, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, In my I, opinion, like whenever, like whenever I'm, I'm training, training these, these new, new kids, kids now, I just think oh, you're gonna, gonna like, like the things, things, the opportunities, opportunities you're going to have. That, that like, like I can even dream, dream of same. in five, five ten, ten years, years is just, just insane. insane. Like, like it's like they just, they, they don't, don't even know how because like, it's, it's grown, grown so much in the last, last decade. decade. I can't I even comprehend how much further it's going to grow in the next decade. decade. And like what the kids that are like learning now and just starting out now are going to be able to freaking like experience and do become. And, and yeah, yeah it's, it's just, just it's, it's the possibilities, possibilities are so, so endless, endless for them and, and I'm, I'm very jealous of that. <laughs> Smack them around. These, these kids, kids, these kids. What do you think is next for you? If you'd like what you would like to share in terms of what do you want to, what do you, where you want to be? Because I, I look at you and I feel like you've kind of done everything, you know, to me either looking, yeah. just going, she's done everything. <laughs> You know, like, and I, I, whereas I'm very much, you know, I don't know if I would really make a good coach. Yeah. I can give you feedback on a match that you're in with me and I can like, but I just don't know. Like it requires certain patience and, you know, I grew up in a Japanese dojo and it's a very yeah. different thing, you know, like, and, and just, and I think that that's almost too harsh for a coach these days. It, I don't know I, that that translates. Yeah. You know, in a yeah. way that isn't going to like tear someone down because it's just a different culture here, you know, and like that's for better or worse. And be, people, you know, you could say that that's not necessarily great and healthy and you would be right, but it is what it is. And it's something I had to acclimatize myself when I came here. But now that's yeah. all I know, you know, so I from, from that perspective, I'm like, I don't ever see myself really coaching. Yeah, just me personally. I, I, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, oh, so I've been, been a coach at PWA, PWA for, for about four years. years. Uh, uh, but I would say only like, like the last year have I felt like confident in my coaching, coaching ability. ability. Like, like it, it, I always, always because it, so, so I'm, I'm not, not athletic. athletic. I'm oh like, no 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 no. Let's not say that. No, but it's but it's I'm not. But I've been. That's I don't think so because I know because I know how to hide my weaknesses and like. So, so I can't, I can't go, go into training, training and tell everyone, 
freaking do, do drop down, down leapfrog, leapfrog back roll, flip over, over this, blah, blah, blah. Like, because, because like, like, I can, I can tell, tell them to do it, but I physically, if I try to do half the, the drills that they do, I, I physically I can't do it. Uh, because I've got it in my career, I've been very good at hiding my flaws and like bringing up my strengths and, and try and making sure that. You know, you know, I still, I still look, look like the like complete, complete package without, without ever, anyone finding out that um, if, if I try to do a leap from, you're all going to die, die um, because I can't jump very high. But I, I also so, think, like, it, <laughs> athleticism is, like, such a weird thing. Like, it's I see the most athletic, you know, uh, some, um, a male wrestler in Japan comes to mind, okay? All the flips and all the jumps and all the ups cannot do a face bump to save his life because the mat coming up to him like this to his face like is just yeah. everything like he just he just freezes his body does not move that's it the end so it's like it. yeah. he can't he can't do it right which is like the one of the most basic moves right so you, yeah. you would go like the rationale goes well if you could do a you know a 350 off the top and splash on someone and not kill yourself with them why can't you just yeah. do, do this, do this. You know? He can't. Yeah. He cannot. Yeah, I, he refuses to. His body doesn't go like that. So it's like, is he unathletic? I mean, not really. It's we just no, we all have limits yeah. and and we all have weaknesses. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, exactly. And I think that we all just have to figure out how to hide. You, you just yeah. You have to figure out the best way to hide them and, and accentuate your strengths. strengths. And yeah, that's that's how I've gone by in life. Um, but when and it comes to God coaching, knows it's I worked. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. But when, but when it came to coaching, coaching for a few years, like, that, I felt very, very much, like, I don't know, like, like imposter syndrome. syndrome. I was like, like why should they listen to me? I don't, like, don't, I physically can't do it. I understand the mechanics of how it works, but I physically, my body won't let me do it. So I struggled with that for the first couple of years that I was training, that I was coaching people. Um, um, I wasn't, I wasn't confident, confident with it, but like the last, last year or so, I felt quite confident in like, like being like, wait, wait a second, I'm, I'm Chelsea fucking McKenzie, McKenzie mate. mate, like, like I'm, I'm alright, you know? Yes, I'm, you are. And like, <laughs> like, like I, I can, can, I can, I can explain, explain this to people, these people. And, and like, I've also taken on, because we're very blessed, right now we have maybe like, I don't know, maybe like 10 girls within our training school, and like, back when I started training, training, there was maybe one other girl, girl. And, and like, like to have, have female, female coaches, coaches as well. And oh, I've unheard of. Be, yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So, so be, I've been able to be that, that sort of like voice and like shoulder for people. people and like that, 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 that is, is where I really think I like, like my strengths as a coach is, um, is being understanding. To be, I'm not, I'm not like, I can yell at people, I can tell people they have to do something. But I'm but also, also very good, good at recognizing when someone's, you know, maybe clearly not having a good day yeah. in, in their, their real life, life and today's today not the right day to yell at them. Yeah. And to, to today's the day to take them aside and just be like, hey, you're okay, you need to talk about it, whatever. I think I've taken on that sort of mama bear role a bit more. Whereas just that's something I could really couldn't do, you know? Like, I'm just going to admit it. Like, it's not something because. It, uh, and again, it just comes from spending 10 years in Japan and in this territory. It's yeah. just very different. And it's like, I know yes. I do what I know. And, you know, how I was raised up is, would be how I yeah. do it. And I, and I know enough to know, like, that's not necessarily the best way of going about things. Um, I will also add that I think, like, people, what people find really valuable from you is the business end of it. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, nobody got hired off a leapfrog. Yeah. I'm just going to say it like they don't, you know, no, but nobody's going to be like, we're going to make you a mega star because you can do a 450 splash. And that's it. That's the sole reason. Right. Like it just it, there's too many moving parts. There's too many factors. It just doesn't work like that, you know. And also because in 2021, there's thousands of people that can do every move. Every move has also yeah. been done. You know, like like we're yes. not in the days now where you, you haven't like, invented anything. No, nah, we haven't invented anything like we, we're not no longer in the days where, you know, it's like you know, I'm a kicker, I kick a lot, Queen of Strong style, very much that kind of style. But at the same time, you know, everybody I wrestle here almost is a kicker. So it's like, mm. this that, that can't be the only reason. Do you know what I mean? Like, and then yeah. on every match, the fans see that. And, and that's not, 
that's not gonna get you know that's not gonna be the reason why you get booked or you get tryouts yeah. or you know so I feel like that business element where you can really say hey this is how you work everywhere this is how you get this is how you build a brand this is how you build your presence online from this biggest handicap of being like down under <laughs> where nobody can see you <laughs> but even if you are amazing nobody knows who you are and you yeah, really, you have like a, a fraction of the opportunities that ev that someone half your talent has but you can still you know you can still be on tv you can still get all these bookings and get ahead I, i'll go to your seminar i'll pay the money <laughs> you know like i because you know and maybe like we're sounding a little bit like grizzle vets but at the end of the day it's like that's really what matters you know it's yeah. it's there and i've especially um coming from a perspective of like tryouts and dark matches on tv the people that you're in front of they've seen everybody <laughs> They've seen the Rey Mysterios and the, you know, and the Dean Malenkos and the Benoits of the world. And there's just, and the Sin Caras of the world. And there's just nothing that you can do to physically impress them, I think. Like, I just don't, you know. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't believe that. So, convoluted way of, you know, explaining that point. The chat says, uh, there are a lot of different types of athleticism. Yes, there are. Yes, I believe so. I think that's true. Um, Frisco says, I don't know, Shazza, do you have experience being a woman? Are you sure Jordan isn't more experienced? <laughs> Frisco, coming for you in the chat. <laughs> wow, wow, Frisco. Frisco. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iconics are Australian. Yeah, mate, definitely. And Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, I don't know their indie names now, though. I forgot what it is. Ah, the, both really good indie Everybody. talents, mm -hmm. like right from homegrown Australian indie talents made it all the way to WrestleMania and the tag belts. Um, yeah. But did you ever hear anything that they did in Australia? Probably not. Like, and I think that's where the, yeah. that's the difference that's going to make the difference in 2021. You know, like how yeah, are you exactly. going to stand out in a sea of people that can all wrestle yeah you know so what do you think is next for you what's the big dream from here on out because i look at you and i'm like i mean i only really see one thing that i think where I, you should be i've said this before you know like <laughs> because to me you've kind of done everything and i know yeah. like there's mexico and there's japan i just don't know whether like they'll really how do you feel i mean about I, definitely, I definitely i definitely, I definitely want, want to go to japan, japan. That's, that's like, like been, been on, on my, my bucket, bucket list, list for fucking I don't, every, every every year for I don't know what the last like ten years, years at the start of the year I write a list of my goals, goals. and every, every year Japan, Japan is number one, one. and every, every year I send so much, much shit, shit. <laughs> and, and get and either ignored or uh, sorry not interested but I still keep sending it because I don't say no to me bitches I'm gonna try. Oh, Shaz is gonna so there, there, there's a term for it in Japan, right? Like the the term for foreigner is called gaijin, and sometimes yeah, like yeah. you have to gaijin smash through things here. Like you just have to foreigner smash through your way through. Hate, you gotta just, just gaijin going. smash through that. Um, I exactly. definitely I think you would be great here. Actually, I think you'd be really good. I think the fans would really like you. Like I think all of this would be amazing. Yeah. Um, the way the business is going here, unfortunately, is COVID has gutted Joshi Wrestling yes. Yes. to just horrendous point. Because on one hand, it's, you know, it's like super professional and high level of everything. And, you know, but on the other hand, with that goes a lot of money spent on every show. And if you don't have yes. most companies, they don't have streaming of anything. Yeah. yeah. Which is like a whole other thing we can get into that. <laughs> You know, like in some ways, that it's very far behind the times. You know, like yeah, nine out of ten companies insist on selling DVDs from a show from six months ago, despite the fact that no one can even like play a DVD anymore. Yeah. I don't have a DVD player. Like yeah, I found, no, I mean, do you know what I mean? I like I, if someone gave me a gift of a DVD, I'd be like, cheers, mate, but like I have no. 
<laughs> no, no, way watching this. no way watching this right so it, and that's the thing it's like and they don't want to put a lot of stuff on youtube or anything because they don't yeah, want they want people to buy it buy the dvd yes it. and the problem is is like you know if they don't and it's not on tv i know yeah. stardom now is on tv but with the exception of stardom and recently by the way and I'll yeah. go so far as to say that it's not Sardom, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling that like pulls that up, yeah. you know? Just let's just be fair because for a long time, and I've worked for Stardom, like no offense to Stardom, awesome girls, you know? But forever, there was this perception that there's indie wrestling and then there's Stardom, right? And it was really frustrating because I would be at the shows and I'm like, I'm in the same arena as Sendai Girls was a few hours ago. The same yeah. fans the same ticket prices, like everything's the same, yeah? So it's not really, yeah. it just wasn't, yeah. like, it was just the perception, but they had it because of the streaming service, I think, it's just my opinion, that where they yeah. had an English streaming service because they had someone doing it for free. So, yeah, it was more, it was more, more it's one of those things. accessible. Right, so, you know, and, it, and I, it can be a little foreign around friendly, you know, just to be really honest. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. No, and, <laughs> and that's, that's like, like my, my like, like I watch, watch a lot of I have like, like um, the uh, DDT, DDT universe, universe so, so I watch a lot of Tokyo Joshi Pro and, and stuff. So like I, I love I think that they're like store them. I I think it's I think I just would fit really well there. And I can see that like because they're all just so like fun characters and like I just want to be a character and like. Wrestling, but like I want to be a character because that's not the fun of wrestling. Um, so Japan is always on my goal of maybe one day, who knows? Hopefully, um, I also recognize that I don't have like I mean I don't have another like ten years in me. Like I'm really realistic. I don't think I do. Like I'm what I turned thirty three a month. Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to do this when I'm forty three. Like I don't. I think. My, my biggest, biggest fear is being, being like, like the like parody of like the person. person. You know, you, you, every, there's, there's always in the locker room that, that person that just didn't like let go, and, and you're, you're like, like oh, why, why, why are they, they here still? still like, I, I think, like, yeah, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't think that that's gonna happen to you. And I'm not just saying that because I, I like yeah. you on my stream. I'm saying like. <laughs> You know, because that's just yeah. Like, like that's my I, I think is that because you see, we see ourselves through the worst filters. You know, I yeah. really think I'm just gonna put this out there. I'm just gonna say, it. I really see you on big time TV. At Japan, look, Japan's I, great. I'm sure that you'll get here. <laughs> like the irony of the situation is, when I wasn't trying to get to Japan, I got to Japan. Like, do you know? Like when when you bang yeah. your head against the wall. Is when well, nothing happens, and then yeah. when you go do something else, then like that kind of indirectly leads to this, right? So yeah, for what that's worth, I I I really like I watched you on AEW for example, and I thought that was awesome. I thought that was really good. You're so unique, you know, and like and also because when you're on TV, you're not the Aussie wrestler. Yeah, like you're Australian. But that doesn't drive your character. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, I'm, and I hated there's, there's that. More to me. Like, I don't want to put on the thick Aussie accent and just like, do you know what I mean? Just be the Aussie girl because, ah, uh, it's there's so just, yeah. There's so much ugh, more. There's, yeah. There's, like being being from a country is not a personality, a personality trait. trait. No. Yeah. Exactly. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Being being from a country is not a personality trait. And also, like, I just don't think it's, you know. I, I think we live in a world where like you if you're from a country and I and I appreciate this because I'm Australian and I'm Bosnian and I've never met another Bosnian wrestler, let alone another Bosnian female wrestler. I've never even heard of one. You know, like That's crazy. crazy. It's insane. Yeah. So I get the idea of like representing a nation, but I that alone is just not that special. Yeah. You know? Then it, it, it needs, needs to be, to be so, so much more. more. Like right. Yeah. I, yeah, so much I think my, my like my, my ultimate, ultimate goal is obviously, obviously to wrestle, wrestle um, 
on TV. TV uh, uh, pro- like, like, I'd say, say my number one goal is still to wrestle, wrestle for AEW. AEW. Like, like, I think um, that, that I just, I just like, like, it's, it's just, just so, so the, the world, world where it is now is, now is I can't put all my eggs in that basket because there's so, like, there's so many moving parts and everything that it's just like, I think, I think for, for, uh, uh, for, for a while, while I, I did, did put all my eggs in, like, in, like for, for a while, while I put all my eggs in wanting to be signed by WWE, and, and then, then I switched to putting all my eggs in wanting to be signed by AEW, and, and it just, just left, left me so, so like, like, drained and, and disappointed in myself, even though, like, I still, I accomplished so much more than I ever should have. But, but it just, just mentally, mentally, I was like, I'm, I'm such a failure, failure but I'm not, I'm fine. Like, no, and, and you, you do you it do to it yourself. yourself. Like you said, and, like, there's so many moving parts. There's so yeah. much that, ha- that, that, that goes into it that has nothing to do with you. Exactly. You know? And like, I, like being, being Australian, Australian is just, just like, like, it's great, it's, it's unique, unique, but it is also a gigantic when, when it comes, it comes to, to being signed, signed by 100%. an international hundred um, percent company because, because just, yeah just, just to so even get, get to a point where you can be considered like yeah. there's so many obstacles you have to have a working the, visa you have to be there and it's like yeah. who's got it it's such a cash 22 yeah. like you how are you like, how am i going to have a working visa if i don't have a contract and i don't exactly how are exactly. you going to give me a contract if you don't see me so like round and round and we go you know round and round and round it's like why like why, why would they, they spend, spend the extra money, money to sponsor, sponsor my working visa, visa when there's you know 50, 50 girls in america, america that don't cost uh, a working visa, visa and they don't, don't have to pay that extra money for like so, so like you we, we have to be like, like 20, 20 times, times better yeah. than, than the best, best. Like, like you can't we can't, we can't just get by on being good we have to be the best because if we're not the best then there's no even like uh, like, like there's, there's no, no point, point in them opening out their, their eyes to us at all because it's just a hundred percent i hundred percent agree with you and i also think and like i've said this before and you know i've said it earlier in the conversation is it's being really smart about how you go about approaching things you know like you have to be really strategic you can't just be like sending any old dm or any old email right <laughs> Yeah. you just can't do that and i think like you do that so well whereas i've really you know gonna say this like almost been lazy about that because i did nothing on social media forever <laughs> because my last booking got me the next booking and i thought well i'm getting booked yeah. i'm working matches like yeah i'm getting better this is this is my job right now right yeah we're fine like why do i have to be on social media for like the fans on social media pay to see me at a show they buy my merch we talk there they like interact yeah what what else is, like it, the whole thing kind of like like i was so late to it you know and i was late to it because i didn't take it remotely seriously mm. you know and now it's like there are people are uh, signed on the back of their social media you know and i'm looking at you oh, 100%. and i'm trying to like see the hype and sometimes a lot of times i'm looking at me i'm like you're not that good. I, I get your cute little highlight video, but anybody can look good on a highlight video, you know, like. Yeah, it's a highlight video. It's a highlight video, mate. <laughs> it's yeah. your highlights. So, it, and I, I just think like, you do it so well where you have these relationships and connections and market yourself so well, starting so far back from being Australian and not being, you know, like, that's amazing. I, I'm truly in awe of that because I, I, I like I keep coming back to this because I'm like, how do you do this? Tell me. You know, I, I think it's like so, and I think eventually this is the thing, right? Like, sorry, like to cut you off. This is the thing yeah. is that I've been in FCW and I've had a developmental contract and I was the first Australian they signed in like a gajillion years, right? And I was definitely the first woman they ever signed. And it was great and it was my goal, right? Like it was kind of a pretentious goal to go from my rookie year to being the first Australian that they signed. But at the same time, when I got there, it was like, okay, now what? Like I did my big thing, right? Because we couldn't have dreams at the time. Like I was in the diva era, I was a diva. Yeah. I couldn't do anything. I wasn't taught anything except the schoolboy for goddamn six months, right? Like no offense to anybody, but yeah. that's the facts or a version of a schoolboy and I didn't want to do schoolboys you know like mm. 
I'm fucking bored. <laughs> you know, like yeah. it's not like just watching that match next year, I'm just laughing my ass off. I'm like, this isn't this is not a match. This is in wrestling. This I wouldn't even do this as a like this I like I had no words, you know. But yeah, yeah. all that to say is like you can get signed. Almost you can, if you smash your way enough for long enough, you will get signed. You will get given a developmental contract. Lots of people get given developmental contracts, though. So the trick is to be there when you are completely ready to be on TV. Yeah. yeah. And I think where when you get given that ball, when someone goes, okay, go on, go out there, get yourself over. We're putting you on TV, and it's gonna happen. Like I'm just gonna, I'm calling this. I've said this to you before. Like I've said this off the stream, I, right. and I'm saying it now. And so like people can come back on, you know, like you can put me in this. <laughs> but that moment will come, and you won't fuck it up because you would have had everything in place. I really believe that. I do. Yeah. I truly. I believe everything happens for a reason. I believe that all of this is preparation, because if you if it wasn't in your destiny to get there you wouldn't have the drive and the desire to do it and you wouldn't have done all these things that were so mm. fucking hard <laughs> like <laughs> you know on the way so for what it's worth like I, I do think that there is something about there is something about being like the big stage jitters and the big stage yeah. fright where people go I'm really good and I deserve it and yeah 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 up to a point Right, and then they just like completely reverse themselves yeah. back. And I think that having been through all this, you know, you won't be one of those. Just my opinion. Yeah, no, I, 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 I mean, I, mean, I, hope, I hope, like, I, I, I hope, hope that something, something comes, comes out of this somewhere. somewhere. Even it's, it's like, like for me, like, like just, just one, one more, more opportunity, opportunity would be all like, like. like I mean, I, mean, I, say, I say this, this like, I remember being, being when I had my tryout, being, being like, like to my husband, husband it's, it's all right if they say no, like, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll be, be fine, fine. Don't, don't worry, I'll, I'll stop pursuing it. And he's like, no, you won't. No, you won't. Yeah, I'll be fine. And he's like, you absolutely won't. And I I absolutely was not. I was absolutely like, okay, let's go, let's keep going. Let's get no, let's, what else we got? What can we do? How do we change it up? What do we do? Like, let's fix it up. Let's So I do, I hope that, I hope, I hope that, that I do get, get one more opportunity, opportunity when ever it can happen. happen. I, I, I don't, don't think that it's going to, like, like, I mean, just because literally I'm locked in my country. country. Yeah, um, me too, man. <laughs> me too. Uh, until <laughs> next year, at least. Uh, but, but I do I hope, hope that, that I get, like, one more opportunity. And I really am taking this time, like, there was, like, the start of the pandemic where I was like, oh, this is so funny. Like, this sucks. Like, you know, everything I work for was taken away from me. And then... I realized, I realized no, no, now, now I've, I've got this whole time to like reinvent myself, myself and mm, try something different and really perfect what I want to do that's different before I have to show it on a, a bigger stage yeah. or to bigger people. Like I have, I'm like, oh, I have all this time to like go back to training and be like, and figure out all the kinks and the this and that and fail again and try like, you know, figure out, like have all the like, attempts at doing, doing something, something different, different and if it fails okay cool no, no one, one saw it or like a hundred people saw it but that's fine like yeah move on. Like, like you know the, the whole world, world didn't see it, it. So, so it's fine, fine. and then <laughs> figure out things that way and then the irony I is I, I watch tv and i see people fuck up way worse you know and i'm like <laughs> Well, yeah, like, that's, like, like I just, to me, you, just, just to put it in do perspective, stuff, don't, don't do stuff on TV. Until right. You know, yeah. Like, just, you know just, just to put it. it. Yeah. Right. Just to put it in perspective. <laughs> right. Because like, and everybody makes mistakes at their job, by the way, like every athlete yes. has missed catching a ball or missed a hoop or, you know, I don't know, tripped, whatever. Like every athlete has made a mistake. Every entertainer has made a mistake in a job. Every um, theater artist has forgotten a lie. Singers have fallen off stages, right? Like, it's part of what it's, things happen. It yeah. shit happens. But in wrestling, we are not allowed mistakes. 
Do you no, know no, what no. I mean? It's, it's entire, like there's entire Twitter accounts dedicated to right, just down right, 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 right. <laughs> like um, my famous mistake is pile driving myself on like a reality TV and having it be all over the internet, right? And um, yeah. and I remember that like really affecting me for the longest time. But it's weird because two days, like not even two days. That was Wednesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday. I think like 48 hours later, I flew out to Louisville for the tryout that led me to my FCW tryout. I yeah. couldn't move my neck. I was like a robot. I couldn't do this, right? But I was still yeah. going to this tryout. And in hindsight, like I have respect for myself doing that because I was a professional. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I didn't, I sucked it up. I was miserable, like I was almost like I was in this like neck brace for the plane because the doctor didn't want me to go, right? But I went, I did the tryout, it led to an FCW tryout, I was signed, right? Had I thought, and it's so easy because it's a legitimate concern where you're like, I'm injured, I shouldn't be doing a tryout injured because I'm not going to be my best. That makes sense. Do you yes. know what I mean? Like that makes sense. But had I done that, would I have ever been to Florida and then... Yeah because of Florida, I came here? No, I really, I really yeah. believe that. So it's, it's the only thing about wrestling is like, you know, as an entertainer, you can make mistakes. You can. As yeah. a athlete, you can make mistakes, right? But when you combine those two things in wrestling, you cannot make mistakes. No. Nope. Just God forbid, no, no. you know? No and, mistakes. Oh, I just, that frustrates me because I think it's like, especially when people, this really frustrates me. Especially when yeah. people look like they got injured on the back of their mistakes. It's like, no matter how much I might not like you in the business, or maybe you're my rival, whatever. Yeah. I don't think, I'm not going to go, like, be happy that you're injured. That, that someone's, someone's injured. injured, yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know, like, that's just... I think, like, like especially with, with that, that clip, clip, like, everyone, everyone like, like, well, all the, the shit, shit you got, got for her or whatever. whatever. It's, it's like, fuck like, She's, She's on, on fucking, fucking TV. TV. I don't, I don't know, know what you're like. like what, what the fuck, fuck are you doing, doing mate? Like, <laughs> we, but you don't think of that at the time. Yeah. Are no. You, right. Like, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Whole episode dedicated to it. Do you? And like the pilot episode. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then the ratings just went all the way down. So I'm like, well, everyone should have just, you know, fucked I think, this shit up. I think that's the only ep the only episode I've actually watched. Uh, yes. No, I, I've watched all of it. I. I've watched all the first season. I never watched the second season. Yeah, you know what? It's so weird because it's just that world of hers was like before a lot of the reality TV, wrestling reality TV, right? And it just has this weird cult following that people still ask me about it. You know, and I, I don't, I don't even remember like because because of the try the OVW and that like I from OVW tryout, uh, Ty Bailey asked me to be on an extra Monday Night Raw. So I had to extend my mm. stay in Louisville. So it meant like I had to take days off shooting. I yeah. We had 10 days, Monday to Friday for two weeks of shooting. I wasn't there for half of it. Like physically not there for half yeah. of it, you know? Yeah. But they made it look like, uh, like everything. It was like my first taste of the fakeness of it all, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. so it, it's crazy. Like people ask me stuff and I'm like, I don't know. I wasn't there for half of it, you know? like. Because yeah, they'll cut your reaction to when whatever says yeah. this to whatever. And but I'm like, I'm in America. I'm yeah, in Kentucky. I have no idea. <laughs> like, don't ask. So, you know, um, uh, yeah, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I, I, I think yeah. um, I, for me, like a long time, like we used to talk about like the imposter syndrome. I think for me, a lot, a lot for a long time, I went through a... I don't deserve this type of thing. Like, I guess it's yeah. imposter syndrome, you know? And there, I mean, I definitely struggle with that. Like, I was, as I knew I had gotten an opportunity that was probably not my turn to have, right? Because I was so but, green. But at the but same you time. Had, you, but you got it. You, yeah. No one else so got a, it. You right. got it. But at the same That's, time, it's like, I never st stopped to be like, okay, so what should I do now? Should I say no to things so that people yeah. will like me more? Because that doesn't make sense. Do you no. know what I mean? It's like, yeah. that doesn't make sense. Or, exactly. and, and a lot of this is like, you've got to like really weed through the, the work of it, you know? Because a lot of times 
a lot of these people weren't putting themselves out there. They were waiting till they were better. They were waiting till they look better. They were waiting for X, Y, and Z before they like got, went to a tryout. And the thing is, it's like, you can do this. We're going to do this for the rest of our careers, for the rest of our lives. I'm not going to be enough of something, right? Like, yeah, that's just how it is. And I think like, no, I will say this, like, if you're a rookie watching this and, you know, you just started wrestling, this doesn't apply to you. You should just go to wrestling training. <laughs> there's there, yeah, there's a level of competency. If you're not wrestle on a show, like, yeah. you, if, you're, if you haven't had, like, the clearance of you being safe, to, to perform, perform then, then this does not no. apply to you nothing but, about this applies to you once you're, once you're once safe you're yeah. to perform then I think like a lot of this is what you do which is you know just be really good about the business end of things that opens doors for you for people that are just waiting back and going pick me pick me pick me right like yeah. and then and because at the end of the day like you still have to deliver <laughs> like if you're the shit yeah. In Shikara, Shikara is not going to ask you to come back. Like that's just how it is. Yeah, you know. So it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like I, don't I don't think, think you can never be like. like there's, there's like, like people, people get opportunities, and sometimes, sometimes I'm like, 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 like they like, like don't. don't but then, then I'm like, like they just. What, 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 what I would I wouldn't have said. I don't expect them to say no to like. And it's it's not that they don't deserve it. It's just like. They, they haven't been the, the right place at the right time, time and, and I'm not, not that's, that's fine. fine. Like, like, you know, and you, you, you can't, can't like, like, you can never hold a grudge against someone for taking an opportunity that if you had the chance to take, you would take, whether or not you think that they deserved it or were ready for it, whatever you think. It's just like, we're all just trying and like, I will say yes to absolutely any opportunity that comes my way because that's like, that's, That's how, how you get, get places. places. You yeah. don't, don't say no. no. So, so, like, like how, how could I expect someone else to ever say no? Like, like of course, like, like, and, and if, if they, they if, if they're not meant, meant to be wherever they are, or they're, they're not going to get that opportunity, they will. That will become prevalent when they go to perform and they don't perform to the standard. So, and so many people don't. By the way, yeah, like so many people do not because i will say this it's amazing thing to again amazing to be you know signed in a developmental center or you know i don't know what the word is for the aw version of it i'm guessing it's some sort of like developmental center again or in a dojo yeah. all that's great yeah. but they're not i i will stand by this you're not they're not going to develop you into a wrestler there they're going to shape and mold you to a product that's either going to be successful or not. And if you're not ready to be shaped and molded into that product, you go to the back of the line with everybody else that is. And then week in, week out, you are nobody's developed. Like you're not learning anything. No offense. Mm -hmm. Like you're not learning anything or you're not learning enough. It's really slow progress, right? Like technically it's really slow progress because when you have 120 kids in a building even though you have seven rings no one not everybody's getting mm -hmm. ring time yeah it's not it's just not, like you're just not physically not physically not physically not possible so it's like who yeah. are you going to give it to are you going to give it to someone who's going to be potentially on tv the next week or you yeah. see like maybe you have something there in their promo that they're using and i noticed this with my tryout my tryout i think it was like the biggest tryout that they had because it was 50 people Right. Mm -hmm. And I know the performance center is huge. Right. But 50 people, 50 athletes that all wear the same thing. Right. It, it's, it's just too many bodies to be yeah. really looking at and assessing. So yeah. the very first thing that they did is they had us do a promo. Like that was the very first thing that we did. We did a promo. And from that promo, they like culled people. Like it was not culled people, but it, it was obvious who they were paying attention to and not yeah. from that promo. Right. Like, I can't say that because of X, Y, Z, right? Like I, I, nobody said that, just a disclaimer, but you yeah. know how you know, like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, it's very obvious. It's very obvious, right? Yeah. <laughs> so from, and, and that's the thing. It's like, you, you, it, it, no, it's not necessarily, <coughs> and, so, and someone who was hired very quickly, but also released very quickly, 
it's not necessarily the best thing that can happen to you career-wise. Full success in WWE or AEW. Like, I know yeah. that's so backwards. Like, why are you telling me to spend more time on the indies to be more successful in WWE? How can I, how, how is it that like, you know, not getting signed and being in that superstar factory won't just make me better? I, think it's, I get yeah, that, I think it's, it's nonsensical, world. but it's a different world and you have to, the quicker you learn the business end of these things, and I was also slow to that as well, right? Because I got really comfortable, I'm not gonna lie, like I had my matches in Japan, I was wrestling great workers, the rest of my year was booked. Do you know what I mean? Like you just go, well, like, okay, easy. I'm, I'm easy. Yeah. Like I'm getting better, I'm working, I'm selling merch. Yeah. What, it's working, this is working, mm -hmm. right? So you don't really feel the need to think of yourself like, you know, your social media as a brand, promote yourself, put yourself out there. Like I did none of those things, you know? Mm -hmm. And then when you have to play catch up to that, like it's really hard, you know, for, for me, it's really difficult because I'm like, yeah. I don't know what no, to tell you. Yeah, you know? <laughs> like, so um, yeah, all that to say, like things really do happen for a reason. And it's one thing like, to whoever's watching this and, and like, I know I'm gonna get crap for this later. I just know it because everybody wants to get signed. They wanna get that contract. They wanna get like in there. They wanna, you know what I mean? Like that's, mm -hmm. that's your goal. And I know that feeling because all I wanted to do was like smash history books and be that first Aussie that was signed. Be that first mm -hmm. Bosnian that was signed. Like that nobody, you know, I don't know that there is a wrestling school or promotion in that, you know, in Croatia, Bosnia and Serbia. Like yeah. I've never met anybody from there. You know, yeah. I've never even heard of anyone. And like, no offense, like, I'm not gonna like put myself over a lot, but after 11 years of wrestling, if I haven't heard of you, like, do you know what I mean? It will, mm. you, you've gotta be either pretty new or like you don't exist. Like, same, I, I think like same with you, you work with like pretty much everybody, right? Like, yeah, you know? yeah exactly. And there's constantly like, there's, there's new people, people coming out, out and stuff, stuff and then like, but like, like I would say I know, know like, I at least know of most people within wrestling to an extent. It's, yeah. yeah, it's, it's very, very, so, very, very rare, rare for them to be like, like a new person, person someone, someone for them to be like, oh, have you seen, seen this person, person that's been wrestling for 15, 15 years? They're great. Like, probably and they're you don't know who they are. Yeah. Yeah, if they've been wrestling for 15 years and they're great, they're probably not great. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. So all that to say, like, I think it's, um, for me, it's like now is a rebranding time, you know, yeah. the, the best version of Queen of Strong Style and the best version of the Bosnian Dragon and the best version of me. And like, really, I remember coming from my tryout and like, I had all these costumes. <laughs> you okay? No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, just had, <laughs> you're fine. I had um, I had all these wrestling costumes, and I remember just um, coming home and like it, I had like seven sets or something, right? And I just remember just really wanting to sell all of it. You know, like I just came back and I'm like, I never want to wear any of this again. And it wasn't like I hated it. It was just like I I. The second I came back, I'd, I knew I'd outgrown it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like you had, I had moved on and I walked into like, there's like a specialty merch shop in Tokyo where they sell um, like all kinds of merch, but like super special merch, like costumes or, you know, masks and stuff that wrestlers sign, you know, stuff like that. And it's like anything you've ever wanted, it's there. And, I, and I've never been there because I've always been busy. <laughs> And I yeah. remember walking in there and the guy's like, oh, Alex, come on in. Like he's been waiting for me, yeah. you know, because girls usually sell their stuff. And then like, cause it's really expensive. It's like a set of wrestling gears, like a thousand dollars in Japan. Yeah. 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 No. And that's I, not even in my gown. I, I, I'm not even including the gown yeah. in that. Yeah, no, I, I, I believe you. I love all of like, I, that is my dream to one day have like some fucking extravagant Oh, I mean, I can make that happen for you. That I can do, um, but it's extravagantly expensive. 
Oh, that's, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure we'll, it out. But, but the thing get, is, is we'll, like, get through the, we'll get through the pandemic. We'll first. get through the pandemic, you know. But then, like, that's not the gowns. The gowns are not in that yeah. number, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I can So, even. you know, so what girls, the girls, they sell their stuff so they can buy other stuff. Buy more know, because, stuff, yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> it gets worn, it gets pulled, it gets, like, the sparkles come off. Like, it's not, yeah. you know. So he, he was, like, so excited, you know, that he was going to make some money from this, right? Because I've never been there. But I just remember coming back and being like, I don't want to have any more matches here. I don't want to wear anything I was doing before. I don't like, I literally want it all to change, mm -hmm. you know? And like, I went through a bit of a really rough time uh, at the, when COVID started because it was just really hard. Like it was almost like a period of depression. And I've never, I've never felt that low in life ever. And I think it was a lot of things. Like, I think it was like this, like. Perfect storm. Of yes. Just shit. Shit, perfect storm of shit, mate. Yeah. Shit. And, um, and then at the end of it, I was like, oh, well, okay. Like everything had to have happened for a reason how can I evolve from this? And my, my thing now is like, I'm gonna do creatively, I'm gonna be the best version of myself, physically, promo, in the ring, like just elevate everything. And then that is going to create what it's going to create. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you could, because we don't, there's so many moving parts. I talk to people in that company and another company and like so much is changing some stuff we can't say like on a live stream, yeah. right? But so much is changing that you just don't know the lay of the land, right? And I, I yeah. think you'll agree with this. Like when we started, there was only one circus in town, right? There was yeah. only one circus in town. And the idea of having an alternative was something I couldn't fathom. Like it was so, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Just, if, if you didn't want to be, there, yeah. then, then like, like what, what we, we that, that, that is the, the only end goal you yeah. could possibly have. Like yeah. there is no other choice. Like, like whereas, whereas now it's a completely reasonable goal to have an end goal that isn't there. there. Like, and it's, it's not, not like strange or obscure. It's, it's like, like oh no, no, like that's yeah. just where you, like, and that's like that's where I personally feel like I would be. Where, where I fit, I fit the, the most, most because I am such, such a self, like, like we're, we're, we're so self-made self and mm. not like. Especially not, like, you. I'm going to give you all the respect. Like, I have to. But like. Especially like, you. We, we, we didn't follow the like fucking path. Like, no. It was here, there, everywhere, fucking, fucking figure it out yourself. Like, like and get, get to where you need to get to. And, and I think there's something about like going through a journey where nobody pulled, nobody's ever really, well, nobody's ever really pulled me aside and said, I'm going to make you my pet project. I'm going to put my, you know, everything. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. That'd be um, nice. <laughs> wouldn't that be nice, right? Like I'm going to make you the thing where I'm going to put all of my influence and all of my power and all of my credibility is going to ride on your development right because i believe yeah. in you that much i've never had that it's always been like for me it's always been i want to do this thing this is absurdly this ridiculous thing and having no idea how to do it but just going okay all i've ever known is like the next step and not even known just like felt like that yeah. was the right decision i had no idea before i went to canada people are always like well what was the plan i'm like mate there was no plan I was really there was Just no plan. I was going to start world wrestling. You. I thought I knew that at the time, like FCW had tryouts. I was like, okay, I can go from Calgary to Florida for a tryout. Like that seemed achievable. I could like finance that if I had to. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and that's it. That was the extent of my master plan, right? And I think like a lot of times, especially in the business, like people think like I have this like genius, you know, level strategy. I, re I really don't, <laughs> I really don't. I try and make the best decision I can at the time and really just go with my gut and it's so scary because, you know, a lot of the things that I wanted to do and I, I'm sure you feel the same is like, nobody else has done that. Like nobody else from mm -hmm. Australia has wrestled as much the way you have. 
without yeah. having a ma without uh, having this having huge uh, system behind yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you like, know, I yeah, I I always pride myself on being like just independent and like what that word means. And I don't want to be independent forever, but like creating this brand independently is such a like. I don't think people. I think people don't understand, understand what went, went into that. that and then I also think, think like a lot of the guys in wrestling sort of just go but it's because, because you're a girl, girl it was easy. easy like a oh, complete crap a oh, complete crap <laughs> yeah uh, yeah but here's to that yeah <laughs> no complete complete crap complete and epic crap and I think I think that all that kind of comment well for starters it's really sexist and misogynistic but that little nugget aside it's really like you're really showing your inexperience in the business when you say that like you're really highlighting yeah. the fact that you've done nothing because yeah, exactly. had you have you would know you would have more information and context to know better that's the thing yeah, it's like exactly. you're the ultimate asshole in my opinion but it was so mm -hmm. like there's so much of that and then you know the thing that i really liked about japan is that it's created this thing in my brain where i refuse to think that of women can't main event and sell out a arena mm -hmm. and have the company based around that. Mm -hmm. I cannot, because I have seen it every weekend for a decade, yep. right? Yep. You can't make me think that just because, yeah. Yeah. do you know what I mean? Like you, you, you can't make me unexperienced that. Yeah, you can't make me think that, that women aren't equal or greater draws like, like you can't, can't. right 100% we've, we've proven it we've it's, no yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah been yeah. proven time and time and time and time again but people, people will still say the whatever <laughs> trash i mean <laughs> aw has a whole new women's tag division yeah, yeah. something to think it about me <laughs> hey. something to think about i have watched your matches and i'm like I was like, when I tag with Mika here, she's kind of similar. And I'm like, oh, I could do so many fun things with her. You know, like when you have two personalities, like in tags, like you, you have like the people that are exactly the same, right? Yeah. So there's just like two of them and it's fun. But then there's people that are like so different, but that just works so good. Yes. So yes. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. I'm, I'm just saying. Yes. Maybe when the, when the world allows us. When the world allows us to <laughs> leave our prisons. Um, yes. <laughs> thank you so much for doing this with me. The chat loved you, by the way. I'm sorry, oh. chat. I didn't have time to read all your comments because I kept talking to chat. I forget that this is live sometimes. Like I had, I was talking to Nyla and I was talking to um, Ricardo and like I forget that you, you there's chatting, whole other people yeah. watching. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just talking to my friends. Uh, I have Aisha Raymond, the Amazon from UK on tomorrow. Oh. Hey, I haven't seen her in years. So, oh my God, it was so funny because uh, Aisha did a PWA show way back in the day, right? That yeah. I was on before I came to Japan. Like I had like a six week yeah. stint in Australia and I was on that show. Aisha comes to Japan many years later and we're on the bus because we're going to a show or something. And she's like, I feel like we've met, but I don't remember. And I'm like, same. <laughs> I know, like, you, I feel like we met. Yeah. But I don't remember, so don't take it any type of way. Months went by, I couldn't, like, neither of us couldn't put it together. And then someone sent me a picture of that PWA show. And there's Aisha in the background. Yeah. I'm like, see? This is where yes. it was. So, uh, Aisha is on tomorrow. I'm really excited to talk to, her, to talk to her. Thank you so much for being a part of this, Shazza. I was so nice to talk to you and pick your brain Thank a little you. and like find out all your little, you know, secrets to success. I just did it selfishly secrets. for myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chat, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the support. Hot Pocket says, yo. Uh, Frisco says, lovely having you all together. Lance says, good day, all greetings from Australia. Australians love you. Uh, Last Chance Levy says smash Shazza. Smash, Shazza smash. Oh, that, that could oh, be a thing. Oh, Shazza smash. I was like, Shazza why are we smash. smashing me? I'm okay. I'm Shazza nice smash. I, I feel yes. like there's a move in there. Um, 
Trash Bag Theatre, I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Shaza, for getting on this stream. Thanks Thank for the you. chat. It's been awesome. I am certain we'll, I'm going to see you down the line. And see you, catch you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.